Alright y'all, I figured I'd do a quick EDC video since I hadn't done one for a while and maybe some of the uh, newer ones to the channel hadn't seen uh, my usual carry and everything but pretty much first and foremost I always have my hat and safety glasses. These here are uh, John Deere brand but I got them at Tractor Supply and they actually uh become one of my favorite pairs they fit real good and i got my patch hat and my favorite little light the old light per run mini here being able to have it on the patch like that and always have it with me uh especially during work and things like that it's always uh, a benefit so uh next on the list will be my backup to that. Um, I've got a lot of these O lights. I think they're a really good light for the uh, price that you pay. This is the uh, regular per run. It's a little bit bigger than this one, but it'll still, the same clip will fit in that housing right there. So I can use this if I need a bigger light or a longer lasting light. And it, uh, it's a lot brighter, shines a lot further, and the battery lasts longer. And it's a little bit heavier when you wear it up here, but you can uh, still get by with it. So, anyway, I'll turn the camera down a little bit. And here we go. We'll start off with the exciting first. This has been safety checked already. Good to go on that. This is a... Glock 17. Um, I was carrying a 19, but I do prefer the 17 over the 19. Uh, fits my hand a bit better, and I also am more accurate with it uh, with that fact and longer barrel and sight radius. Needs a little cleaning. Definitely a EDC gun. But anyway, as you can see, I've changed the sights. I've got a black dirt sight on the back, and I've got a, I think these are Ameriglow. And we've got the pressure canner going in the background, but I think these are the Ameriglow. I don't remember exactly what model, but it's a big orange dot, and then the inside dot there uh, glows in the dark. So, kind of got a high visibility and night sight in one. And I do prefer the black dirt rear over the uh, ones with dots or the standard gold posts even one. So, then I've got the Olight PL Pro here. And I really like this light. I don't remember how many lumens it has and all that, but it's been a tough light. It's got strobe. It's got, it shines for a good distance. It's quick to detach, flip that switch and push it in, comes right off, rechargeable, all that fun stuff. So, I carry it in this uh, tier one. This is the Aegis Elite, where uh, the magazine holster uh, unbuckles off of here if you want to separate them. I like this holster. It's done a good job. Held up pretty good. Um, I like it more than the Axis that has the shock cord right here. I mean, both of them flex fine, but I like the snaps being able to unbuckle it, and I think they'll last longer than the shock cord does. But as you can see, we got sticks through a little bit here. This is uh, actually for a 19, but 17 will still fit. It just sticks out a little bit. I'd like to go ahead and get one that's actually just cut for the 17 straight out and be done with it. But anyway, and this is an extended mag uh, holder here. I got the extended so it actually, the magazine sits down in there deeper. Uh, it's more comfortable to carry that way. This is just a cheap uh, phone case from O'Reilly's. It's tough tested brand or something like that. Clip is not very strong, but so far it hasn't come off of my belt with the way it's made. It's got magnet in it, and it's nice to buckle it. But uh, I was using the OtterBox K2 
cases on my phone where uh, they come with the clip that goes on your belt, but the clips kept breaking. Well, not the clip itself, but the little ear on it where the phone sets kept breaking. So pretty much at that point, it doesn't, uh, you can't use it anymore anyway. And after I went through two or three of them, I decided just to go with something different. Well, next we can move on to this. This is a Skull Candy Dime rechargeable earbuds. I've got one in right now using for the microphone. Uh, they do a pretty good job. They uh, last for a pretty good while to be as small as they are. Uh, they're pretty comfortable. I keep them with me because I use them when I run equipment, a tractor or a chainsaw or something like that. I'll put them in and listen to something and help keep some of the noise down and all. Then just plain old leather bill folder here. Starting to get a little wear on it, but anyway. One of my favorite knives, I've carried this since I bought it, and I don't plan on carrying anything else. Um, this is a Benchmade 940. It's a real good knife. It's real slim carrying in your pocket. It's got good lock. Good tolerance, no wiggle in it. I had a Benchmade uh, Freak, which is a lot bigger than this here. It's a real good knife, but I like the way this carries better, being slimmer. And you still got a real good knife and good handle to hold on to without a whole lot of bulk. So, I like that knife a lot. As you see, we're getting normal wear on it. Then, just a regular old uh, 511 tactical belt here. Nothing real special about that, but... Um, I actually like it more than I thought I would, so there is that. I carry this little adjustable wrench with me, and uh, you really be surprised how much you use this little thing, or at least I do around the farm and uh, logging and all that stuff. It's a four-inch uh, Carlisle brand, which is sold uh, sold by Napa. I don't think they actually make it, but sold through them. And then I've got this little uh, credit card looking thing here. It's a pocket tripod. Folds out like that. Flips up. You can put your phone in there and adjust it however to make videos on the go or whatever you need to do like that. And then one of my favorite things is the tail of knives here. I had one before that was just a plain flashlight and multi-tool holder. It didn't have the key ring and it didn't have the, the pin holder there. I like the clips. Uh, it fits closer against your body on the belt where if you run a belt through it, it kind of has that little kink. And the clips are surprisingly strong in my opinion. I mean, I've, I've been wearing these things for probably over a year. I don't remember when I got the first one, but I wore it all up until I got this one, and then I've been wearing this one ever since, and I know I've had this one three months, and I put it on every day. Even when I go to church, I still slip it on because it, you know, you really get used to it and don't even hardly know it's there, and it doesn't really stick out, so you never know when you need all these tools. With the key ring here, hold your keys real nice. Um, most of the time, I don't have a keys clipped on there, but it's nice to have it when you do. But other than that, it's good to go. It's uh, real stiff when you get it, but as it breaks in, I mean, it, it holds its shape. All the stitching holds up real good. I've never had any of them come loose at all, not even a little snag. Anyway, I just got this cheap uh, zebra pin in here right now. I'd like to have uh, a pin that's a little bit shorter where it doesn't stick out of the bottom there because when you, you know, bump up against something, it'll push it up. Sometimes it'll knock it out and all that. But uh, anyway, another one of my favorites here is the Leatherman Surge. I carried a Wave Plus for a while and it was real good, but this is a little more heavy duty. You got a lot more capability uh, with the pliers and the cutting especially. 
it's got I need to clean it and oil it really it's real tight now but it's got a all on there it's got a like a little pry thing there and a little small flat head there but the main thing is it's got the bit changer here it's got a flat head on it right now but you can change it to all kind of different stuff can opener and it locks in place like that there I've got the uh, bit extender here which comes in real good handy a lot of times you can't get the little short part where you need to get but I haven't got the new uh, thing that they put out the ratcheting extender so I don't know how how well that works but I've just got the regular one there it's got two knife blades which is nice it's got a full serrated or pretty much full serrated and it's got a regular straight blade so uh, if I have my choice I like the straight blade but it's nice to have both some big heavy-duty pliers and then you've got the saw over here which also comes out you can change the blades there and I keep extra blades well actually one extra blade here and also a uh, the file I've used the file a lot I actually use that sharpening knife on the square baler when we were baling and had to sharpen it this year so anyway I've got the uh, bit kit with it. I use this a whole lot. It's got most everything I need in it from time to time. It's got the different star designs, screwdriver heads here, and it's got, this is kind of a square-like bit, but anyway, pretty much most of the time gets the job done, and then most of the time I carry this it's got some little scissors and a little knife blade and a file, which I don't really use that, but every now and then I'll use the fingernail clippers on it. So, anyway, that's pretty much uh, my normal carry there. So, hopefully you enjoyed that, and uh, I'll catch you next time. Stay prayed up, prepped up, and strapped up. See you.